Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Charlie D'Amelio, so let's get started. To draw Charlie, let's start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and start with kind of like a straight line. And I'm basically going to draw the bottom of a U. So I'm going to come down and on this side, not too wide. So I'll say about right here. I'm going to do the same thing. Kind of straight right there and start to connect it. I'm going to go ahead and connect it with a curve. And go ahead down here, straighten out a little bit and connect. There, so that's the basic shape that you're aiming to draw. Okay, so from there, let's come back to where we started in this area. And right next to the edge, I'm going to draw a circle for her eyes. So really close to the edge. And same thing on the other side, right there. Okay, so then let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to add two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So I want to thank you guys for all the requests to draw Charlie here and introducing me to her and to TikTok. <laughs> I would be lost without you guys, right? So hopefully you love how my version of Charlie turned out. And if you're a big fan of hers, Definitely, please let her know that I drew her. <laughs> Hopefully she'll see it. Okay, so we have the big eyes in. So then let's come to the side right here. I'm just gonna give Charlie here just some simple lashes. Two small curves right here on the edge. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to come to the side right here, um, come up and about say right here, I'm going to draw her eyebrows. So they're pretty long and pretty prominent. So I'm going to come in here and thicken this up. And same thing on this side. So come about right here, same thing like the other side. Nice and long all the way across. Okay, so then from there, let's draw her mouth. I'm going to come down to center area, see about right here. Then let's give Charlie a slight smirk. And then she has freckles. You can do that when you're coloring it. And let's come up and come up right here. We're going to start to draw the rest of her head. So let's bring this. Um, just imagine an oval. So, say about right here, come back to the center in this area, I'm gonna give it a point. And from this point, I'm gonna come up a little bit with a curve and come back down to where I started. So, same thing over here, all the way back. And then from there, I'm just going to imagine this line coming through and just flick it out. Okay, so from there, nice center part on her hair, so that it's part in the center. So, give myself a point about right there, and this part I'm gonna go up and go up on this side. From there, let's bring this curve down. And as I come to this area right here, it's gonna be a little bit thinner. 
because it's just straight. Your hair is just nice and straight. Bring this down. They can give a slight curve right about here and then come out again. Okay, so that is pretty much it for her hair. And then let's come and draw her um, body before we finish off the rest of her hair. So let's come in the center area and draw her neck. It's nice and centered about right there. Neck and then her shoulders. From there, I'm going to come in this area and just give her a collar first. A simple little top that she's wearing and it's kind of about right here for her armpit area. And I'm going to draw a very slight angle. From there, I'm just going to come by in this area and draw a curve to connect from the top. And bring this down a tiny bit more. And about right there, I'm going to cut it off. So I'm just giving her a short top. Kind of wobble a little bit towards the bottom. And come in a very little tiny bit and just draw a slight angle line. And so then come in this area right here. And I'm going to draw a curve. When I come to a center, I'm going to leave it open only because I'm using a Sharpie and I need to draw her buckle right here. But if you're using a pencil, go ahead and finish it. So right in the center area, I'm going to stop and draw a little buckle. And then let's bring this down for her hips. And right here, I'm going to draw a, um, what do you call this on the jeans? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going blank. The strap here where the belt goes through. And let's come in here, we're going to draw the belt. Going through there. Okay, so I'm going to leave this space open because uh, uh, I have her hands right here. And so let's come back up and we're going to draw her sh um, sleeve. Let's bring this down for her little top right here, little sleeve. And on this side, it's going to come up because her hand is bent. So this side's going to be a different angle. It's going to be a little bit higher up. So same thing about right there. Go ahead and connect. From there, let's come down right here in the center and um, about in this area, I'm going to draw a slight angle line. Bring a line down for her jeans. And so I know where her legs are going to start. So that gives me an idea kind of in this area is where I'm going to put her hands. So let's bring her arms in. It's going to be, this hand is going to be close to her body. And I'm going to have her hands come in a little bit. So about right here, I'm going to start her hands. So a little thumb. And let's bring this down to about right there, her fingers. And so then you can finish the rest of her hip area, her jeans right there. So on this hand, it's going to be bent. So let's come about right here. And let's bend it in. So about right here where her hip is. And so let's finish it off. Let's follow. About right there, and then bring it in. So right here, I made her sleeve a little too wide. So 
Let's bring this in a little bit more. Okay, so then let's come and draw our hands. I'm simplifying it, so let's just go up, down, and curve it in. And you can finish our hips and bring this down. And just come in here with two small lines for her fingers. From there, let's draw the rest of her um, legs. So come right in the center right here and we're gonna draw two angle lines that come out and continue this. And we're just gonna taper all the way down. So about right there, bringing it down. Gonna work on this side first. And about right there, I'll stop and connect with a curve. So same thing on the other side. Right there and connect. Okay, so then let's draw her feet. Um, so let's continue this line down a little bit more. Come out, curve, and connect. So same thing over here. Bring it down a little bit more. And curve out. And connect. And then come in here. I'm just going to give her very simple shoes. And curve. Okay, so then now let's add, um, well actually let's finish off her hair first. So let's come in this area, I'm going to curve it in, uh, say about right there, her hair's not that long, so I'm just going to zigzag my way across, so about that area I'll just cut it off, so right across, and zigzag it, it's pretty straight, right? parting lines if you'd like to add some details and so from there let's add some details to the jeans um let's come right here and give her a pocket so we see a little bit over there and let's give her some tears in her jeans so save our right here we add a little tear right here maybe two big ones over here it's all up to you maybe a big one right here <laughs> and let's see and then for her top um nice simple black top right so let's just add a heart right here so now she's my Charlie, my dress I keep Charlie. And then right in this area, you can give her a little dot for her belly button if you like. So there, that is pretty much it for my version of Charlie. And I hope you love how it turned out and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.